Hi and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I am an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today I am going to teach you how to curve text using your iOS device. This is a question that we get a whole lot. You are wanting to create a project, you're wanting to design the project in Design Space and place a nice curved text in your design. However, if you're using an iOS device like your iPad or your iPhone, the curved text feature is not available for iOS devices. I'm not sure why that is, to be honest, it is frustrating. I'm, I'm certain for those of you who do not have access to a desktop computer because the curve text feature is available for desktop versions of Design Space. But I wanna show you a easy, quick, and free app that you can use in order to create curved text with your iOS device. The app that we're going to be using today is called Fonto. So we're going to open up that app. That is a free app available in the app store for iPads and iPhones. And then what we want to do is just push this little camera button on the bottom. And then we want to insert a plain image. Now we're going to choose this white image and then going to push this button in the top right corner and press use. Now what we can do is add our text. To add our text, we're just going to double click anywhere on our screen and then this little add text option comes up. We're going to select that and then you can type in the text that you'll be using today. I'm just going to type in curved text and then you can choose your fonts by pressing this font option on the bottom left hand side and you can choose fonts that are um, default fonts here in Fonto or the fonts that you have installed which are right here under the my fonts tab you just select that and then you're going to press done and then I'm going to change the color of this text so that we can see what we're doing here we're going to go to style change the color to black and then to curve the text, we're just going to swipe over where it says curve and you can curve upward or downward either way. We'll curve to about right there and then you can size the text on your image. It doesn't really matter um, because you can size it again in Design Space. So that's not essential unless you are wanting to add another curved piece at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. And so what I'm going to do is press the bottom right hand option and press save image. Okay, it says it is saved successfully. So you can go to your pictures and see that it is there. But now we wanna to go to design space. Over in design space, we are going to upload our image by pressing upload and then browse or select from photo library. Then we will select the curved text that we just used and we want to remove the background. So we're going to press remove, select this background, and then we want to zoom in and just clean up and remove the other spots, like the insides of these letters that we don't want. Now we're ready to press next, next again, and then you can choose cut image, press done, And now we can select the uploaded text and use it in a design. If you like this Cricut Design Space hack, then you will love the Oak and Lamb community. Please click the link below to find out what Oak and Lamb is all about. If you'd like to join, go ahead and do that. Let us know if you have any questions about the membership or our community or other things that we offer here. We do offer education on Glowforge, Cricut, sublimation, woodworking, sewing, home decor, and pretty much anything else crafty that you would like. That's what makes Oak and Lamb so amazing. We love to include just about any crafter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you here another day for another video.